I realised that I was becoming a celebrity, which was nothing that I'd ever expected, given that comic writer was about the most obscure profession in the world when I actually entered the job. The thing about fame is that fame, in its current sense, had not really existed before the 20th century. Back in previous eras, even if you were very, very well known, that would perhaps be amongst a thousand people at most, if you were Pope or somebody. In the 20th century, however, with these massive surges in communication, suddenly a different sort of fame was possible. And I tend to think that what fame has done, it has replaced the sea as the element of choice of adventure for young people. If you were a dashing young man in the 19th century, you would probably want to run away to sea. Um, just as in the 20th century, you might decide that you want to run away and form a pop band. The difference is that in the 19th century, before running away to sea, you would have had at least some understanding of what the element was that you were dealing with, and you would have perhaps, say, learned to swim. The thing is that there is no manual for how to cope with fame. So you'll get some otherwise likeable young person who has done one good comic book, one good film, one good record, who is suddenly told that they are a genius and who believes it and who runs out sort of laughing and splashing into the billows of celebrity and whose heroin sodden corpse is washed up a few weeks later in the shallows of the tabloids. I'd never signed up to be a celebrity and I came to the realisation that it was nothing that I was very comfortable with. I realised that celebrities are a kind of an industry, they're a kind of a crop. Um, media moguls like Rupert Murdoch or people who run the big networks, they need a constant stream of celebrities to fill column space in their magazines, to fill time upon their TV shows. And because celebrities tend to burn out quickly, you have to constantly create new ones. And I really didn't feel that I wanted to be part of that process, and so withdrew to the relative obscurity of Northampton. <laughs>